to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Lauren. I don't know how you found me, but please definitely stay. So please excuse the way I look right now. I will all sort myself out in a second, but today's video is a relaxing kind of video. It's a little bit of a bit of me time. So I will show you what I do to relax, what I do to have a little bit of me time. Sorry if you can hear my laptop. I've just turned my laptop on to sort out some emails and sort out some videos etc and planning videos of when they've got to go where i was going to put my self-care in this video but i want to do that as a separate video because self-care and relaxing are two different things so i wanted to do them two different separate videos we'll be showing you what i do to relax how to have a little bit of me time some clips might be filmed on my phone so i do apologize for that um, it's just the camera's a big big and bulky and I don't think my in-laws will be very happy with me putting a camera in the bathroom while I'm filming and it's gonna be a bit weird for them me talking while I'm having a bath um, so yeah this is what I do to relax and have a little bit of me time so if you guys like to have a little bit of me time sometimes and you like these kind of videos then I hope you guys enjoy it. What I do to relax and chill out, I like to put some candles on, especially a wax melt. Now we normally go with this. So this is the Yankee Candle Home Inspiration Cozy Up Wax Melt. These are incredible. They are smell in the same, and as you can see, I've only got two left because these are my absolutely favorite ones. These smell incredible, they're nice and cozy, just like they said. But at the moment, I haven't got this one in. So I recently picked this up from Tesco's, you guys would have seen in one of my videos recently. But this is the Yankee Candle Home Inspiration Sugared Blossom. Now this is what I'm burning right now in that wax melt. It smells absolutely incredible and insane. So if you guys have never tried this wax melt out before, I highly recommend it because I absolutely love it. But this is what I do to chill out and have a little bit of me time. I like to put a lovely wax melt on and a lovely candle on as well. See, I do have two different Yankee candles. This one is the Yankee Candle Autumn Glow. This is what we obviously use every single day. Even though it's got autumn on it, um, don't judge. But we do use this one all the time because this is the only Yankee candle we've got in the bedroom. We do want to buy loads more Yankee candles, but where we've only got this bedroom, it's limited space, so we can't exactly buy too many. Um, but with the what we do with the Christmas candles is we put all of these ones underneath the bed and then put all the Christmas candles out. And I think that is what I might, might start doing. So if I get different seasonal candles like autumn spring winter and everything else i might shove all the ones that i don't need underneath the bed which i might do sometime this year i don't know when and then i have this one which i'm literally obsessed with this is the brand new yankee candle a calm and a quiet place well it's not brand new but it's brand new to us and i have actually put this in a vlog or video so you guys would obviously see this but if you are new to my channel and you love the scent Angel Perfume. I think it's by Mugula. Um, I'm so sorry if I say that wrong. But if you do love the smell Angel, then this is the perfect candle for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna light this one as well. I'm not gonna light my glow one or autumn glow. I'm just gonna light this one. and nice and comfy if you are guys are wondering what we use for the lighter this is actually electric lighter which we got from Amazon if I can find it I will leave it in the description box below for you guys it charges by a USB lead it is perfect for all candles wax melts it saves on burning yourselves with lighters or matches it's absolutely perfect obviously you got a, a little charger port there where you guys you can see that little charging port there where you can charge it and then you push that button up and when these glow you know when it's on and then you just push this front button and then it makes that like little noise 
so yeah it's beautiful it's amazing and also this actually bends as well Okay, so I have just come out of the bath. I have popped on my comfy, cozy Mrs. Hinch loungewear. I love her loungewear. It's so comfy, so cozy. And especially if you just want to chill out, um, you still want to look presentable, but be comfy at the same time. Mrs. Hinch loungewear is the perfect, comfy, cozy loungewear for you, especially on a Sunday. I love them. So, as my hair is almost like it's still wet um but it's like drying as well it dries pretty quick in this house and um, with the heating and etc i have got to take off my nail varnish um because i am actually going back to work tomorrow so if you guys have seen my life update video you guys would know that i told you about that i'm trying to get into aldi's work um, but just waiting on my start day. Well, there's been a bit of um, a bump in the road. They gave me a start date. Basically, they gave me a start date, which wasn't meant to be my start date. Um, so they had to tell me to go home. But the next day I went there, they said that they don't need me anymore. And I didn't even get any email, no message, nothing from them or the agency. So I was left without a job. So I messaged one of my old jobs. Um, obviously I wanted to get back into Medichem, well, Revolution now, but they're not hiring at the moment. So I messaged one of my other old jobs, David Woods Bakery, and luckily enough, go in so I could go in there. Obviously that's just a little pit stop until I can get back to Revolution. I should never have left Revolution in the first place. I just wanted a better job well, not a better job, but a job that pays more to make our life better, if that kind of makes sense. Um, so, yeah, the long story short is I'm now back working at David Woods Bakery. So I've still got a job. Thank God. Um, but, yeah, enough with the rambling on. So where I'm working in a bakery shop or bakery factory, not a bakery shop, a bakery factory, these nails have to come off. I'm not allowed any nail varnish on whatsoever. So these have to come off. I was actually planning on taking them off and redoing them but now I've gone back to David Woods Bakery there's no nail varnish allowed so I have to take these off so the nail varnish remover I normally use is um, a normal normal nail varnish remover from other Wilkinsons or Savers I actually picked this up from I think it was Superdrug when we was in Chatham um, I think I showed you guys in the video I'm not too sure um, but this is just a cutex nail varnish remover so I'm just going to use that and a cotton round just to remove my nail varnish and to make my nails stronger because they're a little bit flimsy at the minute some of them are breaking they've got little chips in just to make my nails a little bit stronger I'm going to put this on so this is a white and clear nail varnish which you cannot see um, so I can actually use this this is a gel rehab for nails it gives you it's basically a gel rehab damage nail recovery from nails Inc um, you guys probably can't see because it's too bright in here um, but this is basically for damaged nails if you need to strengthen your nails or if you've got very damaged nails that's very flimsy or split like little splits in the nail 
this kind of it's like a little rehab for your nails so it's this little treatment so i'm going to be popping that on top because at the moment because they're long they're very flimsy and they're easy to snap and break so i'm just going to give them a nice good little recovery and then once i've done my nails i am going to pop this in this is the league stafford coco loco coconut mist in my hair and then i'm going to blow dry my hair so yeah i'm going to use that as well i'm going to film me doing my nails and spraying my hair and hair drying my hair because you guys have probably seen me doing my hair and you know how to blow dry your hair with a hairdryer um with this i don't put this on the roots i never put it on top of the roots because it makes my hair go greasier quicker if that kind of makes sense um so if i want healthy looking hair for a good few days then i never spritz this all over my roots i just put it basically from here all the way down um yeah even though i'm blow drying the top of my head i never put this on top of my head because recently i've been putting this on the top of my head and it's making my hair last for a good two days and then on the third day it's greasy like normally when i don't when i don't put stuff in my hair my hair can last about three maybe four days without washing it um which is pretty good um but if i do use this and i put it on the roots it, my hair just lasts about two or three days and then it's greasy again and then i need to wash it um but yeah because my hair is long and thick please excuse the roots it needs dyeing again i just obviously haven't had the money to dye it or even get it done um but yeah please excuse all of that um but yeah i'm going to take my nail varnish off do a little recovery for them and then spritz some of the lee stafford i absolutely love this stuff by the way um if you want a good heat protection spray then this is the perfect one for you not only does it smell incredible but it makes your hair nice and soft okay guys just sorted out my nails you probably can't see them but i put that nails ink um damage repair nail varnish it on like i said you cannot see it whatsoever it is so clear it just protects your nails makes them stronger and yeah it just basically protects your nails um any like kind of like splits or anything in your nails it heals them i don't know how it does it but it does it stops your nails being so flimsy and easy to break so yeah i love that nails ink if i can try and find it somewhere either on amazon or ebay or whatever um then i will leave it in the description box below for you guys i will try and find it on the nails ink website as well if i can if not then um try look fantastic because i think that's where i got it from so i done my nails blow dried my hair my hair looks nice and soft and lovely so what i'm going to do is obviously i'm going to do my skincare in a different video but i have these like red rashes on my nose i think it's because i've kind of stopped doing my skincare routine where i've been st so stressed out at work well trying to get a job um trying to get a job trying to find a start day and everything else it, like i said if you guys have seen my life update video you guys will understand what, what's been going on the stress that i've been going through having no money um and then we've had to move a few things around to have new windows done so yeah it's it's been a bit of a stressful few weeks um that is why i've got like a rash there um which i need to sort out i'm gonna put my hair behind me here my head which i need to sort it out because i need to get back into my skincare routine where i've stopped it for two weeks because of everything that's going on i've been getting like really bad rashes on the side of my nose and kind of like breakouts everywhere so i need to pick up back up on my skincare routine which you guys will see on sunday this video is going up on the friday so i'm having a skincare routine on sunday I think the last skincare I actually physically done was when I filmed the last skincare video. That was the last time I actually done skincare. Last time I done a skincare or actually done skincare physically on my face was the last time that I filmed it for you guys. I cannot remember when that was. Um, it's probably a while ago now. But yeah, it's been a good 
two weeks, maybe three, that I haven't actually done my skincare routine because I've been so stressed out about trying to find a job, um, earning money and, so, and such things and sorting things out because there's things I want to do but I can't do them until I've got a job, if that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, I've been lacking on my skincare routine so I've really got to pick that back up. Now I am working again, I start work tomorrow. Um, so the day this video goes up, it'll be on a Friday and I start work on a Monday. Um, but yeah, I start work on Monday so I need to pick up my skincare routine sharpish because my skin is getting really rough and I'm breaking out. I don't know if you guys went through the same thing, but I recently just come finished off my monthlies and I know when I come when I and this is probably TMI to a few people, but when I do come on it I break out. But I've never broke out this bad. Like I've got three spots in a row, just literally in a row down my cheekline. Like acne spots or whatever, they're just monthly spots. Uh, when I come on so yeah, I've never had three spots in a row before Yeah, something new so I am gonna do my skincare in a separate video because There is a lovely product that I want to test out and try out I've already tested it out once before and I love it so much um, But yeah, so guys that is going to conclude today's video just wanted to basically show you what I use when I'm having a little bit of me time and what I do. So obviously I've just re removed the nail varnish, put on the Recovery Rehab um, Nails Ink on my nails, I've sorted out my hair so my hair's nice and fresh and it smells lovely, it smells like coconuts. As you guys would have seen I had a lovely coconut bubble bath, I love them bath bombs and them bath salts, I absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, that's when I have a little bit of me time. I have like bath salts in, I have bath bombs in, I have like a bath bubble bath. Guys, that is concluded today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, give it a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload. I am so happy to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I hate plugging myself, I really do, I really do hate it, but I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel, thank you so much, it means the world to me, um, thank you even to the people that is not subscribed, but has watched, taken the time out to watch my videos alone, so thank you so much, um, it doesn't, <laughs> I actually had a message come through on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, saying does it, cost anything to subscribe i want to but if it costs money then i, I, I don't want to if that makes any sense um they were kind of afraid that if they subscribe they would get less money it doesn't cost nothing to subscribe or whatsoever sorry i don't know what's going on with my hair um it doesn't cost any money whatsoever it is totally free to subscribe all you got to do is click on the subscribe button then you are subscribed to my channel so any videos that comes up you guys will obviously know about it there's a bell next to the subscribe subscription button as well you can click on it if you want to that's totally up to you if you click on it then obviously it alerts you for when I upload so you do not miss any uploads um, but yeah it's totally free to subscribe you do not get charged whatsoever and it's totally up to you whether you want to click on the notification button as well just to be notified when I upload but yeah it's totally free you don't get costs you don't get charged or whatsoever it's totally free to subscribe so I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next video bye guys